frequency frequently as I release this frequency speak to me every oath I listen up please keep for me as I release these frequencies whoa free my city free my sea bless my situation give me freedom bless the generation give them mercy bless the situation yeah be with me frequently bless my situation give me love bless the situation and let them know know that you love know that you love never far we are never far we are never far we are Welcome to the teacher table. I'm your host, Octavia, and today on the show in the beautiful UAE, I have Nicole Washington. Welcome to the show, Nicole. Thank you, thank you. Oh, girl, wait a minute before we get started. <laughs> I like your glasses. <laughs> thank you. Look at her glasses. I like oh, I can really see myself though. <laughs> Sunshine day. Ooh, look, see, just it's in perfect. case. Perfect. It's a perfect day. Yeah, it is a nice day for shade. So it's a shade day. We're in the shade, we're in our shades. Hey, okay. <laughs> so tell me about yourself and... Uh, well, I am 44. 44? Yes, and... She look good. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Black don't crack. Um, yeah, I'm 44, I'm from mm -hmm. Miami, Florida. Okay. Um, I was there until I was 19 and then I moved to Georgia. So uh, I went to Albany State University, go Rams. Um, I'm a Ram. Wait a minute. My school's a Ram too. Oh, really? It's VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University. I'm from the better Ram. <laughs> okay. Albany State, yes. Uh, <laughs> she was. Yeah, no, I got my bachelor's in social work and then I worked in domestic violence for like four years. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to a child care institution, which turned out, you know, wound up being a, a psychiatric facility for kids. Mm -hmm. um, and I became a teacher there because I really enjoyed what I was doing. I didn't even know that I was gonna like that. So I went back and I got my master's at University of Phoenix mm -hmm. um, in education. And currently I'm working on my doctorate. One day, one day I'm gonna finish. One day? One day, soon, one day. But you're working on it I'm, now. I am working yes, on it. I'm working on it. It's a process. I get it. I'm learning that. And uh, yeah, so then I were I was in Atlanta, Georgia for about 13, well, about 15, 16 years. And then I moved here to the UAE as a special education teacher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I have a lot of questions. Domestic violence, that's really huge. So what did you, what were some of your experiences with, with domestic violence? Was it for the parents or what the students? I mean, well, the children. Well, it was... It was for the the m mainly women. Mm -hmm. I, I only had like maybe one or two male domestic violence cases, but I was a domestic violence advocate. So what I did okay. was I worked with law enforcement. I worked with uh, the city, um, the city of Douglasville, and then I worked with the sheriff's office from Douglas County. And we would work on cases. And the biggest thing that I ran into, I, I would go into court, um, we would deny bonds to keep them in so that I can file a protective order. So that's what I did. I mm -hmm. stayed in the court, courthouse, the courtroom, and I always had to worry about my safety as far as the perpetrators, you know, being upset that I'm the one standing there saying no bond. But I was protected. Mm -hmm. I was. Um, and I loved the job I did. It was, I was fresh out of college. I was a social worker ready to save the world. But then, you know, that it becomes really draining if you're not ready for, you know, you, you have to have the right mindset and I just felt like my season was up with that. It became very strenuous and stressful and I didn't know how to keep time for myself and balance it out between work and home. So after a while I stopped and then that's when I went into education. 
Okay, how, what did you do to, first of all, thank you for doing that and being an advocate for domestic violence. Um, we could probably put a hotline or something on that yeah, for sure today. Um, how did you keep your balance like when you were going through that? What was your passion? What was something that, you know, oh. when you went home to you just like, I mean, poetry, okay. seriously, I would put on Miles Davis and I would sit in my patio and I'd sing, you know, my music. My music is everything to Music? Me, so, yeah. Oh, music? Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> music. Yes. Okay. I love music. Key word for today is music. Uh, tell us more <laughs> about music then. Okay. Uh, I mean, my father is older. He was born in 33. Mm -hmm. So, all of his music, we listened to all my life. Uh, I loved all of that from... Billy Holiday to Miles Davis to Quincy Jones like music yes. it made me appreciate music so that and then always listening finding out me and my friend my best friend was playing one day like I think we were like 14 15 just hanging out in the uh, room and she's a singer she was always singing and then one day I just kind of was humming and joined in and she was like you can sing and I said I can <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like, yeah, you can sing. Why don't you sing? I was like, I didn't know I could sing. I just sing to the, you, you, you know. can sing. Um, but my father used to sing. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I've been singing ever since. Oh, yeah. and then that would help you when you were, like, leaving work at different times. Oh, like gosh, that. yes. Put that radio on. Yeah, like, even working in the office, I'm constantly, if you notice, even at work, I've got mm -hmm. headphones in because I'm listening to my music that's my center okay so tell us more about your music then i, I want to hear more about that <laughs> yeah well i am very humble and very shy when it comes to that because during my graduation i was going to sing a song and uh the girl that was singing with me she was like i can't do it i'm too nervous and i got emotional while i was singing during graduation and i forgot my words <laughs> well, so understand. i was i was but that always gave me you know a shyness but um i still wound up singing in college we you know that's when the poetry cafes and the jazz cafes were out so i would literally you know we would throw those I only on campus yeah we would do those and i started a it was erica badu live album like you could not tell me anything i I would go up in there and we I would sing and that's when I really really like fell in love oh, with I could feel singing this. live music I could feel and all that stuff. Ah. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So, so, okay. Ever since then I've been singing but then for a long time I wanted to be an praise and worship leader at church. Mm -hmm. Um and ever since I've left uh the country I just kind of um, whenever I get the opportunity I try to sing. So now I'm in a, a band. Um, but because of Corona, we haven't been out. We haven't done anything in a while because of everybody's schedule and everything that's going on. But that's where I would love to live, just with a live band. Aww. That's mine. Yeah, so that's if mine. you, okay, so if you had, or do you have your own unique style? If you could connect to someone, would it be Erica? Oh, um, gosh. Let me tell you something. Who's Erica, but Jill Scott. Jill Scott is my sister. She just doesn't know. It. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Jill Scott. I remember that's the first time I had the desire to like really sing. She stepped out, never forget I was in Miami, Florida. I was at a concert and I just, I could have stayed there all night because she was real, you know, she was just a sister and mm -hmm. she could sing and she took off her shoes. Like, I can't do that. Any like, she was just real. And I just saw, I connected with that. I mm -hmm. can't explain. I don't mm -hmm. know how if that sounds weird. But she gave me that self-esteem to be like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I could do that. Yes, you I can. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I would say in my earlier years, it was Whitney Houston. It was Mariah Carey. And then Billie Holiday. Is all, that was like the first album I ever listened to was Billie Holiday. So, I fell in love with her. Um, but like right now, it will always be Jill Scott, Erica Badu, um, yeah, Let Us See, all of yes, those, yeah, yes, yes, all those yeah. strong voices. I love them. Okay, okay. So tell us more about your band. Are you like the solo person? The not the switch wallet? Yeah, the main uh, singer. Yes. And the name <laughs> of your band? <laughs> I don't know. Listen. 
Oh, I usually just sing in the church choir. That's it. Listen. Yeah. You don't know the name of the band? Uh, I can't remember. It's Trey. We will no, put the name of the band. <laughs> I'm sorry, here. Robert. I'm sorry. It's been a minute. Yeah. We will put the band here. We will, we will link the band. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you would like to talk about today? Uh, I will say this. She really can sing. You know, I, I actually can. Her voice is... Um, so, a little quick story about this. I was... I didn't go to the event, but she had... Um, she sang in Abu Dhabi, I think. Well, I was actually going to support somebody singing in Abu Dhabi. And she got called up right they <laughs> they asked her to come up on she wasn't planning to sing right no. and they asked her to come up okay so this is this is how great she is so she got evidently she got called up and she told me the story briefly and she it was like impromptu mm -hmm. let's sing Just got and the 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 uh, educators that went posted her singing on our whatsapp group and so i was half asleep when i got it <laughs> And I promise you, I literally felt like I was in a twilight zone. Her voice was so calming and Aww. soothing. And I was like, you know, I was half asleep, but I was like, wait, this is so beautiful. Like I could have listened to it all night long. Aww. And so of course I went back to sleep, but the next morning I got up and I listened to it again. And I was like, oh, I didn't know who it was at first. I'm Cause I was half asleep. So I'm thinking it was just some, any, you know, <laughs> just anybody. And then I got up and I saw it. It was like, oh my gosh, it was Nicole. And I'm like, oh my God, your voice is so amazing. Aww, but I when I say that. it's really amazing, it really is a Thank soothing, you. calm, peaceful voice. And her voice and her talking matches her sound. She is a soothing <laughs> person. She has a calming spirit, a calming voice. And so you, the way she talks is the way she sings. Her singing is powerful though. So listen to the video coming after this because maybe you can hear it. I would like for her to sing, but maybe another day. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> we never know. This is a, this is a live video, so. <laughs> I can sing. I can sing. So just a hum. Two spec. Two. Just ah. Mm. You want me to do it like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> do it better. <laughs> do it better. But really, guys, she really does have a great voice. And, um. It is a gift, and um, to know someone personally that has this strong voice, I definitely wish her the best in you know all her endeavors. And it is, a, and, and I support her. I was like Nicole, this is a gift. Put it out there. I mean, this is like a, a step forward for me because it's something that I really enjoy. But you know, we tend to be so critical of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. Yeah. you know, I find that to be you listen an obstacle for me, and I'm trying to do that. I'm learning about the critics. Okay, so let me tell you about this, the critics. Until the critics do what you're doing, until they sing like you sing, the critics are not your critics. Okay. They, they right. my motivators. You're okay, right. that's right. they my motivators. So you can criticize, you can talk about it all you want to, but until you do what I do, the exact way that I do it, then yeah. you can't criticize. And yeah. no one will ever do anything like us, you yeah. know? So True. when somebody criticizes, it's just for me, it lets me know that I'm on the right path and that's my motivation to keep going. That's awesome. That's the way I look at it. And that's how you, you have to. Yeah, it. you have to. Yeah, you can. So to all my haters, <laughs> hey, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <That's so crazy. laughs> look, look, look. Thank y'all, okay? Thank y'all for criticizing. Keep on criticizing. <laughs> but yeah, so you have a beautiful voice. You really, really thank do. Thank you. You really do. You really do. All right, guys. Well, this is Miss Nicole Washington, and I thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I hope to Seriously. see you again yes, on here. For sure. All right. For sure. Thank you, guys, and you have a great day. Thank you for watching the teacher table. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please comment. You have to comment on this, guys. <laughs> if you don't comment on this, that means you haven't watched it all the way through. So if you watched it and made it to this point, please comment. Okay, thank you guys. Have a great Bye. day. See you soon. Yeah. That was fun. That was fun. That you was did great. Fun. You thank did you for fun. having me. This was, this was yeah, cool. Yeah, it was. And the view was nice and yeah. everything was good. Like, like I learned so much about you.
<laughs> not so much. Okay, let me take this back. I don't even like so much, but I learned more things about you as well. So yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so can I make you the same? Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Uncut. A little bit. No request. No request. No. Right. This thing butterflies in the sky. Reading rainbow. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Reading rainbow. Just, just, she just gave me that look. You know how many times she's giving me this look? <laughs> Trust me, she's like an older sister to me, y'all. This is like an older rainbow. sister. She, my this, best thing golden is. She is just like my older sister. She gave me the look. She just, no. <laughs> <laughs> what you want? You want everybody do? You want Janae? Whatever Echo, you want to. Echo, Echo, how do you say I love her too. Go ahead, whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, yeah. I feel all by myself up here. That's when I take a minute to reevaluate all of the things I think are special. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like when you wake up in the morning. And you feel all by yourself up here. I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because I loved it. I'll, 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 I'll